Berg, the, the sea, she be a cruel mistress. Ah, she blows, I cannot make it through these waters. Hey. Welcome back to Psychedelic Stories. It's your host, Wavy Davey, here at the beautiful Dome Fest in uh, Thornville, Ohio. See what it's all about. Talk to the vendors, talk to the attendees, staff, and uh, do what Psychedelic Stories does best. the people at home about Dome Fest or just the festival experience? Well, if you haven't been to the Fest before, I highly recommend it. It's unlike any other festival I've been to where the vibes are just way fucking up. Everybody you fucking meet is just always fucking got something funny, cool, just great. People just walking around giving you shit for no good reason. Nice hat, man. Here's a sticker. Nice this. Here's this. Yo, you want a pin? Sure. Here you go. Yeah. I'd like, I don't get that like anywhere else, you know? Like, you know, everyone kind of starts off square. But if you like work really hard at it, you will eventually become triangle. Uh. <laughs> he just gets crazy. Camping with the homies is what's up. It's Camping with the domies. The domies? Dude, the domies, that's actually what's up, because there's no place like dome, bro. No place, no like, place like dome. There's also no place like dome, yeah. It's not it's not a house, it's a dome. Yeah, yeah. I spent $700 to get here to see my favorite band, Pigeons Playing Pain Pond. Tonight will be my 50th show seeing them. Wow. Yeah, I'm I'm a little bit. You crazy. go hard on the pigeons. Yeah, pigeons make me hard. We're here with my good childhood friend. Hey. His name is uh. Jeremy. Yeah. He might look a little bit familiar to you guys. Uh, what can you tell me about Dome Fest, Jeremy? Well, there's no place like Dome, you know. It's my favorite weekend of the year, you know. I love seeing all you guys come out and. Uh, and, yeah. and and do you flock with the pigeons often? Oh yeah. Very often, you would say. I don't miss the show, you know. I, I'm like, it's a problem, you know. It's like, I just like, every week I'm like, you know, I gotta go. I gotta go to every, I gotta go to every show. Yeah, you know, you look like an instrumentalist yourself. Let me guess, um, sax player? Triangle. Like. Okay, okay. So maybe sometimes they, you know, if you're lucky enough, they let you on stage and you hit the triangle with them. One day it'll happen. Okay. And <laughs> a man can dream, you know. Fucking fantastic, as you can clearly see. Uh -huh. Everybody up there is having a fantastic time. I'm over here having a fantastic time. We're just over here enjoying our St. Patrick's Day, you know? No, every day St. Patrick's Day if you think hard enough, Patty's you know? St. Patrick's Day, is that off the mark? Yeah, it's always it's on the St. mark. Patty's it's day. always on the mark. Oh, hi, oh, hi. Is it just an excuse to drink, lad? I think. Oh, no, no, every day is an excuse to drink here, fucking couldn't you? He just over here having the crack, aren't you? Oh, I'm gonna fucking crack with the fucking lads. Oh, yeah. the crack is fucking 90! The crack is fucking 90 right now! <laughs> Oh, well, what can you tell us about this merchandise booth, first of all? Well, the merchandise booth is here. We sold out of everything very quickly. Okay. Even the shirts off your back? The shirts off my back. I mean, uh, you know, that's at a premium, a uh, very high premium. How much for that shirt? Uh, the shirt off this back is very special to me. Yeah. The official merchandise of Dome Fest, the shirt off his back. Last night during the Dome Fest All Stars, first time they did it, uh, I'm talking to this guy in the crowd. He's like, oh yeah, you like Molly? Again, I'm a, I'm a human being in my 20s. Of course I like Molly. And uh, he's like, all right. He dumps he dumps a little bit, like a pile of Molly on his hand. He's like, all right, everybody go. Like six people come in, like, all right. We just all fucking share Molly off this guy's hand. It was a great fucking night, dude. Great fucking time. What we domies got is special. Oh, absolutely. Not as special as St. Patrick's Day, though. Yeah. Uh, Dome Fest is a great community event. I've been coming every uh, year since 2017. Mm. Uh, it's been in a different location. Uh, I love Legend Valley. It's a great location so far. It's, uh, you know, it's a great time. Uh-huh. And uh, so you've been here for quite a while. How has it changed in the last few years? Um, well, you know, it's kind of been kept the, the same in the community aspect with all the fans and everything. You know, that's why I do keep on coming back is because it always is a very intimate, close um, experience for everyone involved. Um, I'm, I'm also really excited to see Great Blue, which is um, Goose's, like, side project a little bit. Schwa is Ben's wow. side side project there. So, what can you tell us about it? <laughs> what can't What can we tell you about it? Uh, here's the thing, Owen. Tell us about it, Owen. 
I have no idea. I just arrived here, but it looks really cool. Uh huh. And uh, what are your plans for tonight, sir? I'm gonna play a show. Mm -hmm. and I'm gonna leave. And uh, who are you playing with? This guy right here. We're in Schwa. Schwa has a good friend of mine. We go back to third grade. This guy used to sell me mushrooms in third grade. Yeah, uh, cordyceps, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazonian cubensis. Mm -hmm. uh, no, that was uh, by fourth grade. We got into that. <laughs> We have no comment on the matter. About the showers, I just stripped down to my underwear, go over to a spigot, and wash down my whole body. People were whistling. They love it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you at least charge a little money for the show? No, no, it's free. I'm not actually this is the last day, so you don't get a show anymore. So that was that was the secret set of the show. Of yeah, yeah, secret sets. There was two of them. Right, secret about set. Homie shower in the morning. Yep, yep. Me and my buddy, washing all the bits. What can you tell us about it? Well, it was okay, but then it was real good. And then sometimes it wasn't quite where I thought it was going to be. But when I stopped looking, I found it. Was that around the time you had too much too fast? Right about then. I might have just overplayed my part. And then is that when you discovered the healing power of crystals? This healing powers? Yeah. We're uptown trading for all your healing crystal needs. Yep. What can you tell us about it? <laughs> Thank you very much. We're the amazing giants. Dome Fest, it's been a pleasure. Happy Dome! Happy Dome. We got the leg kicks. And then we got the skipping. Damn, uphill? We're coming back for a big leg kick. And we'll do one of these too. Honestly, you are on the fucking way, bro. Dome doing it right. Dome Fest always does it right. There's no place like Dome. Oh. Peter's up there. That's pretty damn crazy. Peter? Peter. Peter Goose. is up there. He's playing right now. Peter from Goose. Oh. Love Peter. We all we love you, Peter. We love you, Peter. We love you, Peter. Yep. We're here with our number one Domey. What's your name? Lacey. And Lacey's real special here now because she has one of the coolest buses on the lot here. But uh, she actually made the Dome of Dome Fest that we're standing right behind. Uh, yeah, it was a great experience. We smoked a lot of DMT and said, so, damn, we need a fucking dome. And I uh, went home and I did some math. Did the math wrong. I got radius and diameter mixed up. And because of my beautiful mistake, we have a 50-foot dome that has got us into Dome Fest for a couple years now and we're really appreciative of it and I love to see everybody in there and gathering. Favorite things that I've seen, it was at Peach Fest last year. From across the campsite we see Uncle Sam walking up to these guys and he's got a tie-dye backpack about half the size of his body and he sets the backpack down, he opens it up and he pulls out a smaller backpack outside of that and then he opens that up and pulls out another smaller like Jan Sport backpack out of that. Opens that up, another Jan Sport backpack out of that. He opens that up with a little bag of drugs. I was like, okay, that's so fun. It was like a Russian doll thing. It was a backpack. Russian doll from a giant tie-dye backpack to a little bag of drugs. You guys' names? Austin. Ash. Austin and Ash, the double-A team, leaders of uh, taking out the trash. Zero waste. Zero waste event production. Uh -huh. yes. Where are you from, sir? Peru. Peru. Okay, so is that where all this stuff is sourced from? Yes, basically, yes. Do you make any of it or just people back home? Yes, this is my art. This is a recycle fork. Some recycle forks and make a pendulum over there. Okay, so you came from Peru? Yes. Right. How long did you live there? In Peru? Wow, a lot of years. Meaning, I'm here in the US like 15, 15 years. Okay, and what led you to uh, to having this, uh, this booth here? I was just starting like an artist, you know, in the with the crap shows. And one day in Ohio, I'm attended one place, the name is Nelson Ledges, I was a music festival. I'm after that, gone. Just hook that. Yeah. And now I'm just running a music festival, yes, yes. Okay.
all about fish there? Oh, I'm a huge fish fan. I'm seeing my 25th show for my 25th birthday this summer. Um, but I've been listening to them my entire life. My dad's been seeing them since the 80s, got me into them, was a big deadhead, big fish fan. Uh, I just absolutely love fish. So if you had to put fish next to the dead, what's your, what's your opinion there? Uh, dead is more like... Family. Yeah, dead is definitely more like family, but they are also more, you know, Americana kind of music. Fish is... Street. Out there, yeah. yeah. Fish is out there, far out. yeah, far out, and they jam. They are just like the jam, jamming, jammingest of the jam bands. Yeah. Yeah. What do we want? Two for Two five, for five, Two for for five When do we want it? Now. The next fish show. The next fish show. <laughs> what do we want? Two for five, five balloons. balloons. Fuck the nitrous <laughs> mafia. When do we want them? The, the next, next fish, fish show. show. It's Wavy Davy, you're on the spot weatherman. Over here we have high with 60 mile per hour winds. All right, tents are blowing away. It's Armageddon, it's raining men, hallelujah. Sir, sir, what can you tell me about this weather? What, what can you tell me about this weather? It's ridiculous. I saw you fly like four feet up into the air earlier. It's ridiculous, man, it's just, it's terrible out here. Having a great time, then the wind's gotta come by. You know how it is, you know how You're camping out here in a canopy and a ma air mattress. Air mattress, absolutely. So, so the elements are a problem. Elements are most likely a problem every time. What's every your time. strategy for exit? Uh, pack up and then wait for Spafford. That's a, that, nothing's going to stop you from seeing Spafford. We know that. Nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. So even if it started uh, six-inch pieces of hail, doesn't matter. You're getting knocked out for Spafford. Spafford all day. Staying. Uh -huh. She's getting knocked out. Absolutely. 90-mile-an-hour winds. Getting it. Spafford. Spafford. Um... The insane, classy po po insane Clown Posse shows up going, I stab people, four or five people every day. I'm not getting stabbed, I'm seeing Spafford. Spafford, man, Spafford. <laughs> <laughs> Don't to say, I'm enjoying it, you know, it's pretty good. Dome is home, right? Dome, 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 is, Dome home. is home. Dome is yeah. So, and I guess these are your hats? These are my hats, yes, handmade in Nepal. And we'll, in Nepal? In Nepal, I'm working with a women's collective there. Bunch of, bunch of small children, five bunch cents a day? Bunch of small children, small hands, you know, you can see. Uh, yeah. ten cents a day? Oh, a little bit more than that, you know. Oh, you know about these hats. Yeah. Hey, well, they're handmade. They're all made out of hemp. So, you know, hemp, hemp revolution. We're working yeah, on yeah. that right there. And, uh, yeah, they're amazing, breathable. You know, you can you can go full pirate boy with it. You can go full pirate with it. So watch out. Okay. We're getting a little wild. You got any Sunny Life hats, the official yeah. hat of uh, Psychedelic Stories? There you go, baby. Are a um, fucking amazing. Pigeons are a bunch of fun. Media interviewing media? Hey, now I think I saw you last night recording the set, huh? Um, probably. More than likely. Yeah, uh, over there with uh, pigeons we're playing? Yeah. Lotus? Yeah, Lotus, all of it. I'm, I'm, I'm around everywhere. Okay, yeah, I saw you there. So how does one get to the position where you're sitting right on in there recording uh, these sets? Um, well, I started as a fan, and then I became a photographer. Um, so I, I don't really know how to tell you how to get there. You just start taking photos. I would go to local spots around your area and um, shoot local bands and then go from there. Okay. Find management and if the, build up your portfolio mm -hmm. and then let people see your work. Right. And then go from there. Go from there, guys. Yep. And uh, you love what you do? Absolutely. It's not a job. It's it's my life. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. What would you recommend? Deadlift or overhead press? Deadlift and overhead press. Do both. See, what's your number one festival tip for the people at home? Maybe a little unexperienced. Don't spend time at your campsite just for the headliners. There's a lot of great music and workshops as well. So try to like get out. I feel like festival experience is about the community and meeting new people. So like, you know, make new friends where you can then visit and reconvene next year. What's your name, sir? What's good, man? DJ Heck Yeah. Okay, DJ Heck Yeah. What can you tell us about disc golf over here at Dome Fest? Dome Fest Disc Golf brought to you by Innova. Shout out Innova. Jeremy and Greg from Pigeons Playing Ping Pong said, hey man, can you bring disc golf to our festival? Boom, here we are. We got a nine hole temp course, nine different holes, different lengths from anywhere between maybe 100 feet as much as 260. The safari is the way to play it if there's not a lot of folks out here. Number one rule is have fun. Now, what's, 
Uh, so what's the relationship with uh, disc golf and heady shit? There's always, it seems to go hand in hand. Like you get like smoke shops that are like also disc shops. Where did where did that come from? Do you know? I think it's got to go back probably to the originality of disc golf and like playing frisbee. Mm -hmm. It's got that West Coast vibe to it. We're all I'm from the East Coast side, but I still understand the West Coast vibe, and I think that just kind of goes hand in hand from frisbeeing, throwing frisbees on the beach beach heady hippie right, right. fun i just think it all just goes together and the music you sprinkle music all over oh, that yeah, are you yeah. kidding me now wavy davy here i used to be a d1 college athlete frisbee championship went to internationals i played in costa rica for some time um yeah i mean the chinese military recruited me to play frisbee for them so let's let's see it that's on point that's the wind's fault oh. that's the best festival to come to with your brothers you will have a great time lots of great music Pitch Playing fucking ping pong, baby. Straight domey shit. Straight up. It. It. Is insanity. Wookery. Savage wookery. 